twabivuze uh, we said it kandi mana yabyumvise and god heard it kandi turi mu bwami bw'imana and we are in his amen. kingdom amen yikorwa hano byose byo twavuze ho byose everything that we said here nuko turi mu bwami bw'imana is because we are in the kingdom of god nakindi kitwe cyane nubwo tuburimo that's why we are here is because of the kingdom of God we are in it we are seated in it we are standing in it we are strong in it we are strong amen amen we are firm ariko mu ruko gushikama mu bwami bw'Imana but in that standing firm in the kingdom of God ntabwo ariko abantu bose kwisi bose abantu Imana yaremye ibyo yaremye byose bibyishimira it's, uh, it doesn't mean that everyone or everything in this universe is happy about that. The kingdom of God. Uh, he told us that we come in it by, by, by grace, but when we get in it, we are required to do something. Amen. Amen. Uh, after God created the earth, uh, and after creating man, he looked at creation. And he saw that everything was good. But after, when you looked well, uh, when you look at everything that God created, he created it for man. Amen. Amen. So after creating everything that was going to serve man, he brought man and then he gave him responsibility to rule over that. Amen. 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 So after seeing all of that, he saw that it was good. And I also think most of men saw that it was good. So as all of that was good, man rejoiced in it, and also God enjoyed it, so that it was good, and everything else he created, uh, it was also good. But it's not like everyone was happy about that. Someone was not happy about that. Someone called Satan did not rejoice in that. Satan, you know that he was thrown away. He was not a partaker. Uh, he was living somewhere else. But after being thrown away, he went with some wrath. Amen. Amen. He went with wrath. He was not happy. You know, naturally, when someone is angry, they want to revenge. So, Satan, so he went away wanting to revenge. But he can't revenge to God. Because God is more powerful. So, so what he can do to, uh, to harm God is to do something that God loves so much. Hallelujah. Amen. But Satan has an issue. A because man that, uh, the man that God created, he created him in the image of God. And even that man, Satan doesn't have any power over him. But before you clap, uh, Satan actually manages and he is able to do what he wants to do. If Satan doesn't have the right to touch you, where can he get that right from? He can't get it from God. So the remaining part is yours. So Satan ni wo mu burenganzira bwo kugira ngo akore. So it means that it's you who gives Satan the right to do whatever he wants. Satan akeneye cooperation yawe kugira ngo akore. In other words, he needs your cooperation to do whatever he wants to do. Satan rero mu kugira burenganzira. So in having that right to do whatever he wants to do, agomba kureba hwacu. He has to pass somewhere. Ashaka kure ashaka inzira. 
He has to find a path to do that. When God created us, uh, he gave us something. I don't know whether it's good or bad. Uh, you are going to see it for yourself. I think you are grown-ups. He gave us the free will. Amen. Amen. If I want, I can look at the left. God is not going to kill me for that. If I want, I can look on the right. But... Musoni, uh, who is in front of me, uh, he can say, uh, uh, Do you know if you actually looked on the left, that's when it's better for you? So he's coming, he's stepping into my free will. Amen. Amen. He's coming into my free will. I can tell him that, Musoni, whether you tell me to look on the left or right, I'm going to look wherever I want. But I can also say, Musoni, uh, God bless you. Uh, you just did me good. Let me look wherever you want me to look. I don't know if you hear my point. My... So I've given him the right to be my counselor or my advisor. So that is how Satan comes into the people of God. He comes and shows you he comes and shows you a very hot deal. He comes and shows you a very hot deal. <laughs> and he tells you that this is the deal. Uh, in Kinyarwanda, when they, they use that word deal, so it's something that you have gained. And you have. Uh, I don't want to put that. You have taken advantage of your counterparty. I don't go to the market by Let's say, for instance, you have 1,000 to buy beans. And then when you get to the market, uh, the prices have plunged. Or probably it's close, uh, the close, by the close of the day, they want to run the whole stock out. Or probably you just take advantage of the seller. And then instead of getting like uh, uh, beans worth a thousand, and then you get beans worth two thousand. So that's a deal. When someone says out there, when they say that it's a deal, that's what they hear. But in this deal, there are three things. Uh, probably it's during the harvest, the prices have gone down. Or maybe they are, uh, it's wholesale, people are taking it at a cheaper price. Or probably you just took advantage of the it's seller. Deal. So all of that, all those are deals. Uh, it's like stealing from someone. It's not good, I'm not recommending that. But in Kinyarwanda, today's Kinyarwanda, it's Satan a deal. So Satan comes and tells you, and he, to, he tells you that there is a deal somewhere. And he shows you how that deal is. But let me tell you, brethren, uh, there is no shortcut. Amen. Amen. There is no shortcut. Uh, nothing is free anymore. Nothing is free anymore. The deal that the devil is showing you, it's not a deal to give you good. Amen. 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 Uh, so these shortcuts that uh, the devil shows you, 
nizo zazanye ibyo mureba byose ah they are actually the ones that brought everything that you see today so everyone is looking for a deal or a shortcut so everyone is looking for a deal or a shortcut and in doing that umu twataye agaciro imana yari yaraduhaye we have actually lost the value or the value that god had given us koko inzira zo busamo ni za satan because the shortcuts belong to satan kan satan ntabwo adushakira ibyiza and satan doesn't want us any good amen amen abantu bate agaciro so people have lost their value harumuga witwa akane there is a man called ekan satan yamweretse deal satan showed him a deal akane muramuzi do you know ekan umagambo make yatwaye ibintu atagomba gutwara noneho yosuwa aramwicisha we nubwo ko bwe bose barapfa Basically he took what did not belong to him and uh, Joshua had to kill him together with uh, his whole family or this But the devil had showed him Satan had made a zahabu amwereka gold amwereka imyambaro amwereka precious clothes and then he told him that if you accepted or if you took this you would be rich. it's basically a shortcut to be rich ariko yabuze ubugingo bwe but he lost his life no muryango we wose his whole family also perished amen amen esau esau satan amwere se deal uh showed him also a deal amwere kimbehe yisupu he showed him a pot of soup ariko aza kuvuga ngo and he said ngo nyihera ngo mbese ubundi uwo mugisha uramaririki ko nishwe ninza i what would that birthright do to me now or serve me now that i'm hungry kuko satani akwereka inzira ya bugufi because when the devil is showing you a shortcut ntabwo akwereka inyuma y'iyo nzira ikiri he doesn't show you or tell you what would happen after that arakwereka so he shows you yamara kukwereka and after enticing you akaga ati baya kigendera he goes his way but he has taken you from god amen 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 david david now it satan yamweretse deal uh showed him also a very good deal ako namwe muziko ibyavuyemo but you know that uh, what came out of that havuyemo in shen havuyemo a chain of events havuyemo uruhererekane rw'ibibazo after that there was a chain of problems in this family so most of the time these uh, shortcuts that uh, we come across they are not actually shortcuts because the the path that god has given you it can't be long imana is equal yo nzira nyayo ikugeza ahuye he knows that it's the path that will take you to where you have to be Amen. 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 Lero, iyo Satan akweretse umunezero. So when the devil shows you some akakwere things, akakwereka mashi and uh, he shows you hand clap, akakwereka gushimwa and he shows you recognition, akakwereka sinakubwira akakwereka byinshi and he shows you a lot of things. Ntabwo ari deal. Uh it's not good. It's not good news dukuye kureba tuka tukamenya ko ah we have to look and know that icyo satani yatuzanira cyose whatever he is going to bring to us ni kidukura ha ha ndi twagombye kuba ni kidukura mu bwami bw'Imana ah it's something that would take us away from God koko nta deal iba mu bwami bw'Imana because there is no deal in the kingdom of God nta nta nzira ngufi iba mu there is no shortcut in uh, the kingdom of God amen amen Hanzira ngufi ah there is no shortcut Hanzira yubusamo there is no shortcut Kuko imana yaguha inzira ngufi ibaho muri zose because god has given you the shortest cut ever Amen 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 No no satani amaze kubikora ryo So after the devil now does that Uri ari kintu satani aguha impamvu ah he also gives you reasons akaguha uwo uveba and he gives you someone to blame ukari ukari ukagira uveba and you blame someone iri jambo turabivuga ho cyane kuveba ni jambo numvise ariko nyine ni uno kuveba nyine 
kuko murumva ikintu kubeba kiri bukore so you're going to see what blaming someone is going to do amen amen ariko but kubera ubwiza bw'Imana ah because of the goodness of God kubera ubwiza bw'Imana because of the goodness of God kubera ubuntu bw'Imana because of the grace of God yaduhaye inzira yo kugaruka he has given us a way to come back yaduhaye inzira yo kugaruka ah he's given us a way to come back ko tugomba kugaruka oh he's given us an option to return uru muryango uracyafunguye dushobora kugaruka meaning that the door is still open for coming back amen amen umwana w'ikirara yaragiye amaze kwibaza amaze kubona uko ibintu bimeze aratekereza abona zanzira y'ubusamo ko itahari ubusamo actually the prodigal son acha muri anzira yamuzanye asubirayo ah uh, after realizing what life had become he realized that actually the shortcut he had imagined is not actually a shortcut then he came through the same way he he left uh, his home natwa haniho twadukwiye guca so this is also where we are supposed to pass inzira twaciye mu dusohoka the path that uh, we took when we were going out twari dukwiye kwica mu tugaruka is actually the same path that we were supposed to take when we return Amen. 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 Ariko iki nacyo Satan arakize. But this one too the devil knows. Azakora uko ashoboye. He's going to try his best. Kugira ngo we kugaruka. So that you don't return. Turareba uko abikora. We are going to see how he does that. We are going to see how he does that. Tuzi ko Imana ikunda abantu umuntu wihani. We know that God loves someone who repents. Kandi umuntu wihaniye iramubabarira. A person who repents he forgives. Iyo dusomye muri Muri Yesaya 118 Isaiah uh, chapter 1 verse 18 Imani ravuga ngo Imani ravuga ngo ngo ni muze tujinama Come now and let, let us reason together Ngo ni kuiteka vuga says the Lord Ona hivyo havya nyu byaba byatukura nk'umuhemba birahinda kumweru bise na shereke naho byatukura tukutuku birahinduka nk'ubwoya bw'intama bwe if though your sins are like scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they are like they are red like crimson they shall be as wool nhanzira wacamo so there is no path you can take ya ku imana ya yabandende ku buryo imana itakwemera ngo garuke ah there is no path that can be too long that you wakora gikabije go through it there's nothing you can do too serious that god won't forgive you and uh, first john chapter 1 mm. if, if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful to and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness If we say we that we have not sinned we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Tumaze kugwa mu burenganzira satani yadufatiyemo go gutoranya. So after having fallen from through our short, our free will tukageraho satani adushaka and uh, having gotten to where he wanted us to be satani ashaka inzira ashaka uburyo tutatwatuma tudasubirayo. Ah Satan looks for a way for us not to return. Uburyo bwambwe bwo kumva utasubirayo. Ah the first way uh, he uses for to, to keep you there no kumva utakoze nabi. Ah is to make you feel okay. Ariko wakoze nabi. But you have sinned. Urabizi. You know it. Ariko Satan agiye gushaka umuntu avebera ko wakoze nabi but he's going to look for someone to blame kugira ngo wowe wumve usanuweze so that you you feel okay about that urubanza ruse nurutakuriho so that you feel that uh, you are okay icyo kintu icyo kintu cyo kugayira abandi byo wakoze so that uh, thing of blaming others for what you have done abantu turakigira we have that as abantu turakigira we have that as human beings tukagira ngo abandi and we think that others abantu others other people kanaka uh, this one kanaka so and so ariko nta narimwe 
But where is my responsibility? How about me? That's where we want to talk about. That's where we want to talk about. Uh, I like to ask God, like, why you, when God gives me a word, it always comes or involves responsibility. Uh, when you look at uh, the teachings that I give or the things that I say, uh, it's one thing. Amen. Uh, pray to God so that he gives me something else. Let's not talk about others. Let's talk about ourselves. We ourselves. Start or begin by yourself. What are your responsibilities? What are you supposed to do? Why others? Why others? Why others? Uh, Jesus went to the pool of Bethesda and he found a person who was there, a man who was there for 36 years. And he asked him, he asked him, do you want to be healed? Do you know what he said? Say, people, others. He, said, he should, it was a very straightforward question. He should have, asked, he should have said yes or no. But he's, he began to blame other people. Say, other people. You see? He doesn't have any problem. He, that's none of his business. But he's blaming people. And then he healed another blind person. And then he said, People began to question actually the reason of that blindness. Then people said, And they asked, like, why Jesus, why was that person blind? Why was that man blind? Is it because of his parents? So meaning that we ourselves, uh, it's uh, been part of us. Why? Because we want someone to be responsible to blame. So to blame someone or to blame other people, it's a way of seeing ourselves as righteous. So, uh, meaning that everything that gets to us is because of others. Is because of others. Is because of others. I am good, but others. But today I want to tell you this. Let's return to ourselves and ask ourselves before blaming other people, what about me? But this seed uh, was born actually a long time ago. Let's read uh, from uh, the book of Genesis, chapter 3. Starting from verse uh, 8 to 13. Mm-hmm. And they heard the vo- the sound of the Lord. God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called uh, to Adam and, and, and said to him, Where are you? 
He's, so he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? Then the man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. Uh, God asked a very straightforward question to Adam, said, where are you? And say that I have hidden. He said, didn't you eat uh, from the tree that I asked you not to eat from? It's a question. He said, haven't you eaten? What did he answer? And say, the woman. I say, haven't you eaten? The answer should have been yes or no. Yes, I have. Please forgive me. Or, or I haven't. Uh, he didn't, God did not ask who told you or who gave you of the tree. Nothing like that. The question was simple. And then he said, God, uh, what you are asking of me, it doesn't really matter. It's actually the woman that you gave me to be with. So a few, t- some time ago, he was actually the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. But this time around, he's, she's now the problem. Hallelujah. Amen. So what was previously good is now becoming very bad. <laughs> they thank God that you know things are okay now, but uh, sometime later they may blame that the woman you gave me. But was he really answering the question? That God did not ask about the woman or anything like that. That's, that wasn't... Uh, so he still had actually his free will. He could have exercised it. So God came down. Uh, we see on 13. And the Lord God said to the woman, what is this you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. So we are basically uh, responding or answering the wrong way. But this is certain. Because they are not actually grieving, they are not sad. They are not actually feeling concerned about what happened to them. They are actually trying to find a solution or an answer to their issue. And through this, they are not repentant. You see, this is actually what the, the devil does. You've done something bad. I say, no, no, you are okay. It's actually because of these other people. And he said, because of these other people. Uh, the man said, Adam said, it's not me, it's the woman. I think had God asked, did he really feed you? I think he would have found something to answer. And God asked, did you touch the tree that I uh, asked you not to? And then Eve also said that it's not me, it's actually the serpent. God did not ask what made you do what you did. That wasn't the question. Who led you to do that? That was not the question. He, the question was asking, what is that you have done? So here it is you and God. So everyone, uh, so this is what everyone will have to answer. Here we won't be saying it's because of this and that. Say, so, you know, people. 
abantu ariko nyine yabantu ari bato ya hari birabanje ndi mukuru yenda simbizi kuma ngo umuntu yankomerekeje there are things that i hear around here that uh, someone has offended me yankomerekeje nta nkubisurushi the person did not slap me nta nkubisumugeri they did not kick me nta nanutse they don't even insult me ngo yandebye nabi or just because of the way he looked at me ushaka wandeba na bukushaka inshuri jana you can look at me however you want ko ngo mu rusengero say that here in church mu rusengero in that church ngo nta rukundo ruhaba that there is no love ngo nta rukundo ruhaba that there is no love ubuze ngubwe ngo ndagukunda nta gukunda what if do you prefer that i tell you that i love you while i don't no si yo nje hano mba njanga umunkunde when i come here am i looking for you to you love you me? Me? am i standing here so that you love me ikituma dukundana the reason why we love each other nikintu kiduhuza is because of what brings us together when that is not there ikyo kintu kidahari when that is not there ikyo kintu utagifite when you don't have that uzabona abantu bakwanga you will see that people hate you now uze mwanyanga mwanyangiriki how why would you hate me for instance aba umuntu mwana ku cyumweru rimwe mu kwe mu rimwe mu cyumweru hari cyo mwanyangira you see me like once a week would you have reasons to hate me but ndagukunda i love you kae nawe wankunda and you can also love me ariko dukunda rushwa niki but we do that because naho duhurira because of where we aho hano ni bringing us together aho hano ni butahurira so if you don't uh, come together with other people there uzabona bakwanga se you will see that people hate you you even dream that they are poisoning you but those are your issues those are your issues would i go and ask pastor tai do you love me i know he loves me but what makes us love each other nicho is because of that if that is not there whether i ask him or not love is not there love is not there even if i may force it even if i may force it you know uh, white people like to say that when you greet someone you have to smile and show that you you actually are pleased to meet them ariko ashwa gukwereka amenyo atagukunze but he can show you his teeth with amenyo kayabona ariko nta rukundo ruhari but there is no love he can, you can see the smile but without love ariko yo hari cyo kintu but when that is there amen abantu uh, people to vever rero so we we blame them therefore munabana indwara adam yarwaye so the the issue adam had is the same thing with Eve. and they had not agreed to do that but we also have it and we haven't agreed to do that but the devil who did that there even today is doing that so what happened uh, god actually chased away from eden and the devil was very happy because he had kind of revenged against god so it's because that wrath uh, he could find a place to exercise but jesus christ came he, to, bro, to bring us back uh, to bring us back satan uh, the devil was still there so he's not going to touch adam and eve kuko satan ntabwo yahindutse so the devil has not changed kandi ni intwaro zintabwo zahindutse ah even his arms or his weapons are not changed. so what he did with adam niyagiye kudukoresha is going to do the same as well niyagiye kudukoresha that he's going to do the same as well rero ikosa turishakira kuwundi so we tend to blame other people for that impamvu tukareba uwo tuyigerekaho and we find someone to blame and we find people to carry Ariko the twe, burden but for us we don't want to, to suffer we don't Kuko want anything satan 
there are some words that are not properly said. Uh, so it's like the devil is taking sin away from us. But he's not doing that. He's basically deceiving us that we should look at other people for the blame. So if you look at it today, if I asked today, if I asked today, imagine uh, let's say, for instance, I asked, why didn't you go to school? And no one here can, so the answer would be, no one here can say that I wasn't intelligent. Mm. But the, what I'm going to say that if you knew where I came from, do you think my dad actually went Mama to school Rize. or my mom went to school? Were they, were they even caring about going to school? Uh, did, if they even pay for my school fees? So what I'm doing is basically blaming people, blaming people. But for me, I am innocent. <laughs> Say, why don't you have a job? Uh, you know, daddy, uh, it's not uh, things out here to get a job out here without connections uh, with all the bosses out here. Whatever, what they ask, some ask for 150 to get uh, hired. Hari, Hari, Hari. They are, they are, they are. They always. Uh, to give. Do you know where I, I come from? Do you think that? Uh, uh, they don't. They can't give us. They can't give me a job because of where I come from. If you are not this and that, you can't get a job. So no one can tell you that I am actually praying, I'm believing God that I will, and I will get it. No one will say that the job I have is enough for me. So now, this is now the one who has a job. So he also has issues with people. So now he has issues with people. Even if they have a job as good as, you know. Uh, you may ask me uh, how are the business going? How is the business going? Say, yeah, I wish I were like you. Mm. You know, when I was your age, actually people... Because I'm not asking anyone for a job. I'm going to take it to the beginning. You know, you know, back in the time, I didn't know anyone. So this is what I want us to get rid of. I don't have a job. I don't have a job. I actually spent four years in jobless. But I thank God for that. Because being a jobless, that's when I did business. Because I wouldn't have asked business from anyone, I began it myself. And from that time onward, I know that no one... Uh, who wouldn't be able to start their own that they've prayed for, that is their, their business, and they don't need anyone. You just need God, and you can do whatever you want. You have all the rights with God. Please, uh, don't, don't, spend, don't look at people. Don't look at people. Don't look at people. So people are just delaying you. People are going to delay you. Uh, people are not bad. People are good. We are good. We are good. But uh, Satan, uh, he passes behind. He passes behind. And he shows you that it's people. So if people are not there, who would you live with? Uh, someone came to talk to me. 
ahantu ashaka kubaka uh, uh, a place he wanted to build ahantu ashaka kubaka iduka uh, he wanted to build a build a shop rero. and I, i say it genda wubaki hariya iruhande rwahandi maduka I'll go and build next to the other shops. If you want to set up a shop, go <laughs> to Gachinjiro. Say, uh, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, would, uh, would I be able to compete with <laughs> you? But let me tell you, that's the place where they're going to buy from you. Because... Hallelujah. kugura muriri agura no muriri agura no muriri akagura no muriri but because uh, when they come there they buy from the church but if you are alone ne wabuhenduka even if you are expensive, they are not going to buy from you nsibaza kugurira bate batageranya nabandi ngo bamenye kuhendu abandi nta bindi biri ruhande bazabwirwa niki kuhendu so there is there is no reference shops. so you need people basically we need people we don't need people to blame we need people that god has given to us so that we are able to advance in life amen 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 so, so then people begin or continue to blame each other a person who is, has, is evil doer, they actually blame the person they offended Oh yeah, you took a baby. So we shouldn't be blaming Kuko. other people because is Satan. that is the devil. Is Satan. That is the devil. Ariko Satan But we have overcome Tata, him. Uh, he doesn't have any rights on us. Uh, so the any r- rights he has is the one that you've given him. So God has given us power to step on uh, the scorpion and the serpent. So and every power of the devil. So we have that power. But if you have a certain power and you don't use it, no, no, then you begin no, the blame game. Then you can begin to blame. But we shouldn't be looking at that. We can not say that it's the devil. We can say that it's Satan. We can say that it's Satan. So the deals of the devil are not deals. So those are the deals that uh, lead you astray. So you can't say that it's the Satan who's doing that. Ariko ntabwo ari abantu bave bagusa hariho no abakristo none imunzi y'Imana So now let's look at the house of God not to go to the man and then we take it to another level of now blaming God to the man we now blame God ngari ku Imana yo say God ija kugira icya when he did this, didn't he see that this was the situation ija ku ndemana inya before he created me like this didn't you see that before i did this didn't you see didn't you see that you know these sorts of prayers that, uh, we do sometimes ukareba ibyo bintu nyine ugasanga nta musimamo bifite none ukavuga kuti mana ugasenga mana nange ndagirareba niba atari byawe ubikureho then you step into something you know it's wrong and you pray that if uh, it's not uh, right please take it away from me or maybe the one i'm going to see if he's not the right person uh, and if you don't ac- accept it or let it not, let it not be so now you are not blaming any person you are not blaming god you are not blaming god but there it takes actually too far it takes too far it takes too far because when you begin to blame god satan uh, the devil takes you somewhere else. Mm. Yeah. So, so you know for you to get away from god uh, just take a rope so the devil doesn't have the power to kill you but he will show you a rope and then you will kill yourself amen 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 so therefore brethren uh, what i was saying is 
This kind of mentality it takes us away from the kingdom of God because we are of the kingdom of God. And in that kingdom, we, are, we can take ourselves from there. And if we do so, it's because we realize it, we come to realization like the prodigal son. And we say no. Uh, we, the place where we left is still there. Let us go back. So the way of going back is repenting and asking for forgiveness. But you cannot do that. You can't repent if you don't feel you've sinned. So what I'm asking of you and me, so is that in everything, ask yourself, ask yourself, what about me? What have I done? What have I done? What can I do? What, what about me? What about me? What was the reason? Because I'm the one who did it. If I did it, so whatever caused it, uh, it came from me. It came from me. So you shouldn't allow the devil to go. Then uh, keep you, you shouldn't allow him to keep you there. So he shouldn't be showing you just the way out. And then forget that there is also a way in. How? Let's not go too far. Do you think that uh, the prodigal son, if he had been tempted again, would he have gone back? He wouldn't have. Because he knew what happens. So that is also something that God does to show us that. To show us that. To show, to show us how the outside looks like. To show us how it looks like out there. Because you may think that out there it's good, but there is nothing good about it. So God may permit that you go there so that you see for yourself. So that you see for yourself. And you have that intelligence and wisdom so that the next time you know what to do. So therefore, as I wind up, I say that if we say that we, are, we don't have any sin, we are liars, uh, we are deceiving ourselves. We do sin, all of us. We do sin, all of us. But let's take the responsibility to, that we've done it. Because we know God. Because we know God. We know the way to repent. And if we repent, God is good. He forgives. He's going to forgive us. And what we've got through can help us so that we be people, we be good Christians and who are accepted by God so that we know the ways of God. And that will also be useful to us. So brethren, That's what I wanted to tell you. It's one thing. It's one thing. It's one thing. Don't blame anyone. Don't blame anyone. Even if someone may step on you, say, God, God forgive him, him is certain, but don't count that on him. But don't think that uh, they did it intentionally something like that. Uh, the question I have, the, question, the problem is you, the problem is me. The problem is not me. Uh, my, uh, in other words, my problem is not you. My pro the problem is mine. So that is something very important uh, that God had put it on my heart to discuss. We shouldn't be saying that others, others, others. No. If we failed somewhere, let's acknowledge that we have. And we show it to God. And if someone has helped me, may God bless them. But it's because they've helped me. So they've helped me. So I'm coming to the end. 
I want to say something as we wind up. So all that we were talking about is for those who are in the kingdom of God. Is the, about the children of God. Uh, they are the ones who can get out. And they can also come back. If you haven't known God. If you haven't reached the kingdom of God. You can't get out of it. Because you haven't reached it. If someone is here who hasn't received Jesus Christ and they haven't entered into this kingdom and they don't have that right to even return and they don't have that uh, right to say or telling their father or that uh, ability to repent uh, I'd like to ask that you come forth yeah, that you would come here so that, pray for you, so that so that they get out so that they get out having said that I've stepped into the kingdom now ariko nti watremye gusaba naducunguye kandi mana maze kuducungura utwingeza mu bwami bwawe ubu turabana umwami turi bikoma ngoma icyaba cyose mana ishora byose bwo burenganzira dufite kandi udashora kutuvaho mana ishora byose tushora gusohoka tukaba muri ubwo bwami ariko mana watweretse ko inzira ikinguye kwigiye twashakira hose twagaruka tukakwita amavi hasi tukemerika Ora rufite kandi rwinshi kandi mane yo tukugezeho urudusendezaho reka ro mana twifatanye nawe reka tukugera ka mana twi twongere tukwegere ni tukwegera ibyo byose mane ishora byose bizabe byacu urakoze rero urakoze kubwi jambo ryawe urakoze mane ishora byose kuwumvise mane ishora byose ibyo twavuze urakoze cyane n'umuntu uhaye ubuzima bwe abuguhaye Kani mani kwa riki kwa mzee kwa chawi. Amen. Mindura mi musha, mindura mi musha, mukawi.